Hello, this is Evangelist Stephen Ritchie, Global Impact Ministry. I'm here in Hinatuan, Philippines, with Raul Atawa, uh, a Christian brother, spirit-filled brother. Uh, we met him in September, and it is now uh, all the way into July of 2016. We met him and prayed for him in September 2015. Uh, Brother Raul had tumors throughout his neck and other parts of his bones, uh, bone tumors, and apparently the tumors ate away at his neck bone, and he was so severe that they said he needed emergency surgery or he would have been paralyzed. Am I correct, Raul? Yes. And so we prayed in Jesus' name. And we agreed in prayer, but he also changed his diet. He began eating fresh fruits and vegetables and a lot of something they call here in the Philippines, mal malungai? Malungi? How do you say it? Marangi. They call it maranga here. I think it's called marangi uh, online, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But it's a, it's a superfood plant as well, and I didn't even know about this. And I asked uh, Brother Raul, are you taking this plant as well? And he said, yes. And that's wonderful. So he, he changed his diet. He's eating a lot of alkalizing fresh fruits and vegetables. Am I correct? Yes. And he's eating very, like, less cooked food, but more fresh fruits and vegetables. Am I correct? Yes. Good. And so in the course of, what, since September to July, what, nine, ten months? Yes. He had need help to get up. He could hardly, he had a neck brace on. He couldn't work. He couldn't take care of his family. And now, Brother Raul, are you working now? Yes. You're back to work as, as a... Normal. As normal yes. in about 10 months. And now in the Philippines, they don't have as good as medical care. We're not sure exactly what the tumors were, whether it was uh, malignant or not. They think, we're not sure what, we're not going to say what it is. They're not even sure exactly. Apparently he had tumors in his flesh and in his bones and it was so bad how bad was it Raul can you tell me how bad was it you in a, a constant pain how bad can interpret interpret oh second yes severe pain on a scale of one to ten how much pain was it ten on a scale of one to ten it was a ten pain Yes, yes. Yes. So he was in severe pain. We felt bad for him. We would pray for him, and others in the body of Christ pray for him. Uh, and since then, he's had a full and complete recovery in Jesus' name. And we want to give God the glory, don't we? Amen. Let's Amen. praise the Lord right now for doing this wonderful miracle for our brother Raul Atua here in Hinatuan, Surigao del Sur, Philippines. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.